Alright guys, what's good? It's your boy Nabari, man. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to put a shock visor on your football helmet. Let's get into it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get into the rest of this video, man, let me just say this is not the fastest way. This is not the quickest way. This is not whatever. This is the way I do it, okay? I know there's going to be people like, no, this is not the right way to do it, blah, blah, blah. This is the way I do it, alright? <laughs> But anyways, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, man. All the links will be in the description. Let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing that I do is I unscrew the top screws on the face mask because sometimes if you try to push the visor in, it can get stuck. Next, I take the plastic off of the visor, off the front and the back. Some people like to keep it on when they put on the visor, but me, I prefer to just take it off and get rid of it. Yeah, I deal with the fingerprints and stuff, but it's all good. <laughs> After that, I take off this rubber part on the visor because it leaves like a big gap. When I first got a Shock 2.0 visor, I noticed that it was a big gap in it. So I was like, you know what, let me take this off. And it looks way better. Now it's time to put the visor in. As you can see, I'm using my thumb to pull the visor towards me. Once you hear that click, that's how you know it's in. At this point, pretty much done. Just going to put back on the screws on the face mask. The clips are already on the visor, and it's looking fresh. It's pretty much done, yo. And this is the finished product. Check this out. Hey, it looks clean, man. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, Sapphire Iridium visor for you guys who want to know. But yeah, that's the video, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I'm going to catch you guys next video.